All right, welcome back to the second part. Now, I went ahead and did this so you guys didn't have to sit there and watch me weave in and out all these uh, uh, curves. But uh, what I did was is I did a shift A. Bezier curve, like so, and since it's it's already thick right now, uh, because of this, uh, originally it would probably be twelve. Actually, let's make this zero because that's what it was. All right, so originally you're gonna have this. So what you want to do to get a 3D look is we're going to bump this down to 5 and then we're going to put this but then just do geometry. Um then we're going to go down to bevel and we're going to go 0, 0.0 uh, H should be all right. Enter. Actually, that's a little bit too far. Um, so we'll just bump it down to about. Is it one? Yeah. So zero point zero one meters. Okay. Make sure you're off of feet now. Uh, I found that out the hard way. <laughs> so I went back to Imperial or the to the units, changed to meters, and uh, that's how I did that. And so back to this, what you do is you you're gonna have uh, this side and this side like you saw. So what you're gonna have to do is Hit this vertice right here. Actually, I'll just I can show you right here. You can grab this vertice right here, and then what you do is hit uh, E to extrude, and it's going to extrude. Then you use R to rotate, and then G, and then G to bring it in, and uh, you can do proportional editing, I believe. I probably should have done that in the beginning when I was doing this, but I didn't. Um, there we go. So now you have more control. Now you have less control. So you want to be able to control what you're doing. So this right here has one of these uh, handles. So the handles help move things back to where you want them to get that tight look. So this is how you would do it. And then this is you want to take this out of that so you don't have that issue. So for me on on this one here I'm going to bring it down And I'm going to bring this in because what I want to do is hide the rope because you want this to look like it's been tied, you know. So where are you at? I must have done something. All right. 
So you want this to be tied, but look like it's tied. So what we can do is we can leave it as is, like that, and then when we turn it into a uh, mesh, because right now this is just a curve, um, then that's what you would do. And So let's bring this back down. Let's bring this out like that. And it's not going to look perfect. You could sit there and manipulate this thing all day long to try and get what you want. But That's that's how I did it. And then once you're done with this, we're going to take that and we're going to find the apply button. on the curve there might not be a apply button I think you actually have to go to objects transform um, Control points, segments. I want to turn this to a mesh. Curve, transform. Nope, we don't want that. All right. Um, twist method. That's interesting. What is that? Minimum Z up tangent. What does this do? Right, okay, it doesn't. Unless that does something there. Tangent. So as you can see, I've been, I've tried to get this thing nice and tight looking, but it's, Gonna be fun to play with later. All right, I have the curve. I think this curve is. That curve is the one I was using to show you guys. So curve one. Hopefully this is, yeah. All right, so going on with that. So we don't want that happening. 
because the rope is not going into the wood. I wonder if that has anything to do with tangent. Whatever that does. Yep, it is. So Z zip. I learn something new every day. Alright. Now I want to apply this. Objects. There we go. Cursor. There it is, convert. Goodness gracious. All right. Curve to mesh. That should have worked. Why is it not working? Objects. Curve. Oh, mesh from curve. Okay, that's that's what I need. There we go. <laughs> I knew it was one of those. Anyway. So, we're going to have this little issue where things are open like that. So, that's the one I wanted to hide anyway. So, all right, let's tip this, bring it down. And then I'm going to try and bring it into this one and then kind of yeah, just like that. Try and hide it. Um, so I don't want the player to see it. So gonna have to pull it up in there and then select this here and pull these out. And then grab that. Okay. Then we have this one. So we're going to grab that. Whoa. So we're going to grab that. And bring it, put it in there like that. Then we'll grab these, bring them down. Like so. Let's turn that. Ok, 
Okay. Now we're going to grab all those and hit Control L. That's going to select all of them, all the verts, everything. We're going to try and snug this up a little bit better. So we're going to have that problem. So we need to pull that. Or to see probably these two. Bring those down. And bring that down. What did I just do there? All right, let's see what we have. Bring that out like that. So we're trying to just get that wrap effect. Sorry, it's so tedious, but that's part of getting this looking good. Didn't want to select that. All right, Alt, Alt and click selects the Uh, the edges. We got another one here. And I'm going to do GG and bring it over. And then I'm going to lift it like that. That same. So we got going here. Oh, that's that. Oh, see, so we have another sunken one here. So apparently we're going to need to pull this out as well. Not too much, just enough where it looks like it's wrapped around. Guys are probably like, oh, this is a lot of work just to do this. Yeah, it sure is. Sometimes I do projects and I wonder why did I do it? But then when you're done, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. Wow, that one's really pulled out.
Oops. Oh, that one. Yeah, I thought that was going to look jaggedy there. So I need to pull that. Pry right there. All right. Um, so I just need to work on this back side here. Get these situated. Like that. And come on. This one. Eh, I probably should leave that alone. Let's just leave that alone. Should work. And then this should be the last one. All right. I wish there was a mod or something, or not a mod, but a, a add-on to help just wrap things around things tight. That way you don't have to sit here and finagle every one of these. But there isn't, so that I know of. Um, this one could stand a little bit of a turn. Now I'm being picky, but I want it to look good, so. That looks like it might hold, right? All right, so let's give it a texture. Please don't crash. Blender's been crashing since when I go to save it, so sometimes we got to talk to it. All right. Um, fabric. I wonder if it would be under That could almost work. That 
That would look like rope, right? Well, actually, it wouldn't be rope. Would it? It'd be more. Sorry about that. Um, so it's probably see these these uh, uh, makeshift ropes are going to be made out of plants. So uh, like a uh, palmetto or something like that, where they'd be weaved. But I'm really not seeing. Maybe it might be something in organic. Um, no. Leaves, no. I wonder if that would work. Let's give it a try. So. I guess we could just call this, um, just call it rope for now. Actually, I want to call it, it's actually lashings. Lashings. To be correct. So let's see what that looks like. <laughs> uh, it looks cool from far away, but See if we can find something else. Everybody decides to bother me when I'm trying to do Tor Hill. Anyway. Uh, Leather. Oh, that might work. His lashings would be well. The lashings can also be out of leather and string, like found on the beach or something like. When you see in this survival game, you're going to find things that are going to actually make sense on how to make lashings. So, that like a plane or something, you're going to find stuff in the plane that you take apart. There could be rope in there. Um, I don't know. 
leather. Let's see what this does. I just want something that's going to look good. Oh, crap. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, freaking crashed. Well, it's a good thing I saved it. Tell you what. I hope I saved it all the way through so I don't have to go to lashings again. This is why you save and save regularly in Blender. Because this kind of crap can happen. All right, thank God, save that part. All right. Let's grab this again. Pants. Where would we? Is it leather? Yes. And I think it was that one. Uh, no. Kind of looks alien. Thinking that leather is not going to be a good thing. Curious to see what paper is. All I need is something that's going to look like. Like uh, what it should look like, you know, the, the lashings. In fact, let me see. Lashings. Lashings texture. Um, lashings, okay. Lashings texture from palm palm trees palm trees Okay, so I just typed in making rope from palm tree leaves and
that one texture that we saw might work. So that was under fabric. That texture might work. Yeah, that, that'll work. All right, so once we have that going, then what you do is save it, duplicate, bring it up on the On the Z, all the way up, then uh, and then come on. I want this part. Nope. Look, I don't want that right now. Come on. There we go. And then we're going to pull this cell to Pull this out on the next. This is on the Y. And again, you want to make sure that Everything is looking tight because you don't want your wall falling down. <laughs> and you want it to look you want it to look real. So again it's back to tedious work. However, Great things come when you are really putting a lot of textures or a lot of time in to your uh, work. That looks all right. And sorry, I've been gone for so long. I just I don't know. I'm kind of got. I got uh, burnt out. And videos just weren't going good. People were more watching. And I felt like I was just not waste I was just wasting my time. And then I decided that I was gonna Try and make a game since I know a lot more about stuff game wise. So I talked to a friend, said, Hey, that's what I'm looking to do. 
do you think that we could pull this off? And he goes, yeah, I think we could. We're going to use Godot engine. So fingers crossed that we can get this thing to work. And basically, the game is uh, not going to be a survival game just yet. That's coming. We have to get the mechanics down for the bow and arrow. I've already made the bow. I should have made a tutorial on that, but didn't think I was going to go back and do blender tutorials anytime soon. So that's my story. And I'm sure there's a lot of you guys out there that uh, kind of have the same feeling when you were making videos that you were just kind of getting like, you know, what? What am I doing? Like, nobody's even watching. You know? It's like, I felt like you're just wasting your time. And that's generally how I felt. It's just like, I'm not really doing anything, so why why am I wasting my time with YouTube? I mean, ever since YouTube pretty much killed my channel anyway, because they brought in that stupid stuff that they do now where they, they took my partnership thing away so now I can't make any money on YouTube and so I just pretty much gave up on that and um, now I'm just doing this for fun because obviously I'm not going to make any money on it uh, bring this down a little bit more there we go and looks like I've got to tighten this up here. Sounds like the rabbit got in trouble again. And, uh, so anyway, I just figured since I'm on this journey of trying to make this game, I might as well show how I'm doing it for people that are interested in making assets for their game. So, I know I'm not the best, don't claim to be the best. There's certainly other people that are better than me. But, 
that's with any any sort of art there is always someone better than you and that's one of the things that bothers me in art it's like I look at my art sometimes and it's like why do I even why do I even try there's people better than me but then you look back and you're like I actually did a pretty good job. And if you get back in the swing of things and you start really practicing, then it all comes back. All right, let's see what we got. Please don't crash. Save. So that's darker down there. Um, lashings. And lashings. Okay. Probably could be brought down a little bit further. Or not, because I just. Just a little bit. So right now, as we have it, we have, uh, we go into here, where's my lighting, lighting, sun, holy smokes, five. Bring so these logs might look a little different from the original ones I did because Blender crashed on me when I tried saving my project, so I had to redo it. So if it doesn't look the same, that's what happened. And but they don't look too bad. Uh, there is one thing with this texture. Reflective color. Why is it reflecting? Hmm. 
All right, let's camera this in. G, and then click your middle mouse button, and you can zoom right in like that. And then G. All right, let's see what we have. Ooh, that doesn't look too bad. Not too bad. Make sure you always grab the top of this because you could grab that and I've done that twice today. Save your work. And uh, in case you guys are beginners, click on the camera. Click on the camera, go to view, go to lock camera view, and then you can just pan around like this, and it always stays within the camera. Okay, and then you hit F12. Now, I'm probably going to add some more lashings down here but I don't want to sit there and bore you bore you guys so uh, I would say that this is good enough for this tutorial uh, the next one uh, I might be doing a uh, a lean to and a lean to is another shelter but that's for the other that's for the survival game itself this part here is going to be for base building or making like a hut to i don't know i don't know like exactly how we're going to do some of this because we're still kind of planning it out but I figure I just get the assets going and I know that I'm going to be using this as a wall or you can use it also as a um, I can make it a little bit bigger and make it as a fence so then people can make a huge fence out of it so I can make two things out of this for to make two assets. So, uh, thanks for watching and thanks for uh, stopping by. And this is Andy41 out.